we operate an independent arm of Exitus and Local Exo Foundation, which has been a formal foundation for about four years now. Um, the foundation operates out of our office in Phnom Penh in Cambodia with a small team of experts and responsible tourism um, in the Mekong region, um, heading up the foundation. And uh, they're there to advise us on how we can operate as responsibly as possible as a company, and then also to um, allocate and select projects and community based tourism projects for us to include in our tours in Asia. Um, an example of one of these um, we work very closely with um, is um, in a little village down in the south of Myanmar called Muang Shui Lei, uh, which is close to Napoli Beach. Um, in this village, um, they had a lovely, well, they, they started to build a library um, that was for the use of the villagers, but unfortunately the funding ran out quite early on, and so the building was just left, up, left as an empty shell. Um, the Exo Foundation actually went in and we talked to the villagers and decided that we were going to make a donation to the village which enabled them to then finish building the library and stock it with books. And we also sponsored the two of the villagers to fly to Yangon to be trained um, by the British Council um, as librarians and then back to the village where they now work and operate the library. Ultimately the plan is that the library will become self-sufficient within five years. Um, the salaries of the librarians will be paid by the fees of the membership. Um, and I was lucky enough to visit it recently and it's a spectacular the project. Um, it was very special to go in and actually see all the kids there. They're all sitting there reading the local magazines and books. Um, we do try and update the documents and the books that they have made to them. So it's really hands-on and our guests, uh, clients coming down to Myanmar with us can go and pay a visit to them. Uh, village and the library when they're down in Upland Beach as well. They have lunch. The whole day is actually, um, it's, a, it's a whole community-based tourism day, so you get to um, go on an oxen cart through the village, uh, go into the local monastery, meet with the head monk, who's 93 years old, and really sprightly, and we actually then make a donation to the monk um, and the local monastery. Um, we the clients then actually meet with the head teacher of the local school and just have a conversation about with him about um, his day to day work and the education of the school, the children in the school. Um, we visit the library and then we come back to the beach where the, the villagers actually can go in delicious lunch, chicken curry, vegetable tempura, noodles, simple but one of the most beautiful settings that you can have. Travel Life is a fantastic uh, sustainability audit that we're currently working through within Exo Travel. Uh, what we're doing is we're working with all of our wonderful hotels and all of our suppliers and having a look to see what, uh, what strategies they implement within their business in terms of sustainability. So we're looking at not only water and waste management, labour usage, impacts in local areas and villages, food production. Um, and uh, use of chemicals within within their properties. Uh, so it's a big process for us. We're very excited to be able to work closely with our suppliers to really acknowledge who is leading the pack in Asia in sustainable development and sustainable work practices. So we've only just started. Um, we've sent all of our um, questionnaire off to our uh, suppliers and waiting for a lot of this information to come back. And we'll work through an audit process with uh, our EXO Foundation based in Phnom Penh. And eventually we'll be able to have a really clear list of preferred suppliers who are operating in a sustainable capacity.